vote pact encourages disenchanted would-be Democratic voters and disenchanted would-be Republican voters to pair up and both vote for, can't do this on screen here, okay. and both pair up and both vote for, everything's in reverse, mind bending, um, and pair up and both vote for um, uh, parties that might actually uh, coincide with their preferences. So to take the obvious example, if you're Everybody's around. He's like, you've got to vote for Biden or else you're voting for Trump right. for the 50 millionth time. Um, uh, th this says one way out of that, and perhaps the most strategic way out of that, I would argue, is to say, I'm going to team up with a would-be Trump supporter. Um, and then we can, we're not helping the candidate we hate the most. They're not helping Biden. I'm not helping Trump. We're pairing up because we have some kind of relationship or some kind of trust. They could be a relative. They could be a friend. They could be a neighbor. They could be a debating partner. They could be somebody who you really like, but then you stop. You sort of drifted away from because you couldn't talk politics because, you know, you care for this person, but they're being inane. Um, and this helps you both get out of the jam that you're in. You don't feel a need to vote for Oops. either one of the lesser evils. You know, a husband and a wife, you know, she hates Trump. He loathes Biden. They could both go and vote for either one, but they would just be canceling each other's votes out. Um, or they can say. We trust each other, presumably, or, you know, this year we got mail in ballot. Everybody's using mail in ballots so they could fill out the ballots together and she could vote for Howie Hawking. Right. Or the of the Green Party, um, and you could vote for the Libertarian or the Constitution Party or whatever, and that way they both vote for something that they more readily, that they actually believe in, rather than just trying to stop the other guy who's almost as evil as the guy that they're looking to vote for. Absolutely. And, and again, this year, you know, I mean, you know, tr trust has been a major component, but especially this year. If you're doing mail-in ballots, you can do them together. So you can right. really fill out the ballots together, uh, walk into the post office, and there you go. I can totally understand Trump is worse, but that doesn't mean that Biden is good. And you, you, there's probably somebody on the ballot that Howie Hawkins is most probable, who probably agrees with you on policy far more than Biden does. He's for Medicare for all. He's for Green, Green New Deal. He's for curtailing corporate power. He's for cutting the military budget and so on. But I'm going to guess, Justin, that you're not inclined to vote for him because you think that you got to get behind Biden. And what I'm saying is you and other people can get can find a would be Trump supporter that in your life, a relative, a friend, um, you know, somebody you knew from school, uh, a debating partner or whatever, and pair up. And instead of you quote unquote, holding your nose and voting for Biden and them holding their nose and voting for Trump, you both pair up and you both vote for candidates that you actually believe in. And that way you kind of redeem both of yourselves. Yeah, yeah. That's, I like that. That's, that's, that's good. Thank you.